Hello friends, this is Self-Critical Automaton, your favourite logistical AI relay hub and huge nerd. Welcome to episode 0, the setup episode of my new Let's Play, in which I'll explain what Ghost Runner is, how I'll be playing it, and why I've chosen it for my next obsessive, old-school, in-depth Let's Play. In a glib, one-line description, as might be suited to the lost and lamented tradition of shelf-suitable art emblazoned across a jewel case or perhaps full-size DVD box, Ghost Runner is a high-speed first-person platformer combined with the twitchy, reaction-based combat and insta-death of indie darling Hotline Miami. A longer description would be similar, qualifying these statements and adding that it's surprisingly gorgeous with lushly designed interiors and a fun, if mostly formulaic, plot. It would comment on the ineffable qualities of those games that come as a total surprise, and are delight after delight, and then waffle vaguely on the similarity of the modern AAA indie game and the supposedly dying art of the B game. It would admittedly finish with a warning that Ghost Runner features a lot of rapid camera motion. I love it. I love it, and I've completed it so many times. I squat at the top of the leaderboard comprised of the few friends of mine who have also played it. Hit me up on Discord if you want to be Steam friends. I relish competition and suspect I would be destroyed by any real challenge. Links, as always, are in the description. It's gorgeous, fun, and challenging. And when you're in flow and you zip through an area sick housing cyber dudes without taking a hit, it looks fucking rad as hell. It's one of those thrilling games that can fully occupy my scattershit attention deficit hard drive. It's also pretty difficult, which makes me look like a pro gamer to you rubes. That really ought to be enough to explain why I want to select it, but it's worth mentioning that it does actually break some of my personal criteria for a good Let's Play game. Said criteria are, do I have plenty to say about it whether I like it or not? Yes. Is it critically interesting, either as a work of art in its own right or due to its historical or industrial position in the medium? To at least some degree, yes. Is it under around 20 hours? Oh, absolutely. Can I play it while commentating live? Uh, hmm. Uh, hmm, hmm. So, since that's where the problems happen, let's get to part three. How will I be playing? Here, usually, is where I talk about whatever special rules I'll be playing under, such as difficulty levels or committing to a minimum saves run, but Ghost Runner is going to force me to mix things up a little more. I've always done live commentary let's plays where I simply record myself talking about the game as I play through it. I do research, I prep notes, but I have no script and I improvise as I go. I make occasional exceptions such as recording commentary and post for Dark Souls bosses, but Ghost Runner is a whole game requiring that level of silent focus. And worse, it's a game with characters who'll constantly cut in to commentate. Even in games that don't have high focus requirements, this can make my own commentary awkward to maintain. So, I'll be recording all my commentary in post, but it will still be live and unscripted. I'm hoping this will let me focus on performing difficult reaction speed and spatial reasoning challenges while still retaining a degree of organic commentary. With that out of the way, I can add the normal bit type thing chunk of this section, odd rules and such. To wit, I will be effectively playing as if it were a new run of the game, but I am actually going to be in a kind of a new game plus mode. You see, Ghost Runner has a structure focused on replayability, encouraging collectible hunting and score chasing on each level, but it also has skill and power-up unlocks earned throughout the game, which are brought back into those earlier levels on replays. I would simply start a new game file, but unlocked collectibles are completely reset whenever you do that, along with the skills and scores and so on, and I want to show you those collectibles in a roundup at the end of each level instead of constantly having to stop platforming to rummage around under crates. This is intended to feel like a simple playthrough of the game, not a how to find 100% of the secrets video guide. Since these two are incompatible goals, I will simply play through Ghost Runner on my 100% completed game file and only begin using new skills as and when the game would have unlocked them for me on a fresh save. I'll also try and remember to point out whenever that happens. For the record, Ghost Runner does have an actual New Game Plus mode, but it includes heavily remixed enemy placement, and my goal, as I said, is to show a more normal sort of a playthrough. So, that should be pretty much it. Thanks for listening so far, well done for sticking it out, I hope you'll join me soon for the first actual episode. Thanks so much to my Patreon and Ko-fi donators, whose names should be visible on screen, and remember that I also stream on Twitch with more casual playthroughs, although I do also try to archive those streams on here. So yeah, thanks for listening, I'll see you later.